girls. We are so excited to be here and to see you guys. We have missed you all summer long. The school is way too quiet when you guys aren't here. So we are excited to come in today and introduce ourselves and teach you a little bit about our program and all the different things that we do here at school. And I'm Mrs. Kemp, your other counselor in the building. All right. So here's me, Mrs. Katucci, and I wanted you to learn a little bit about my life when I'm not here at school with you guys. All right. So behind here are some pictures. So here's a picture of my family. We went to a, a wedding this summer. It was actually my brother's. So there's my whole family. And we had a wonderful time. That's my daughter, Lucy. She just started kindergarten, just like some of you. That's my other daughter, Annie. She's three years old and she just started preschool. Oh, and here we are, all together, hanging out on the couch, being goofy. Oh, and here's my oldest daughter, Isabella. She just started second grade. And here we all are at my brother's wedding. So family is really important to me. So you'll often hear me talk about them in lessons because I like to teach you things that I learn from them and give you little tip, tidbits on things that will help you. All right, and again, I'm Mrs. Kemp. I'm here as the part-time counselor, meaning I'm not here every single day, but I'm here most days for most of the day, okay? A little bit about me. That's my husband's side of the family. We're a big, huge group, so there's lots of people, lots of fun. That's my little family, my husband and my two daughters, Charlotte and Lainey. I will let you guys in on a little secret. I see some eyes wandering towards my growing belly, and I am expecting a third baby. Oh, wow. um, all of you are kind not to ask. Too many people haven't asked. <laughs> this is my daughters with my niece Zoe at the lake in Pennsylvania, where I'm from. There's Charlotte. She's five. She started kindergarten last week. Um, and Lainey. She's three and think she's five um, and a little bit about me that's me uh, my old college where I went Westchester University and my old teammates because before I was a counselor I was a teacher so I love being in school I love you guys and the kids and the, and the school setting um, and I started as a teacher and then I went to Hopkins back here and that's my graduation day because I learned being a teacher, what I really wanted to do was be a school counselor. So I'm so happy to be here in a job that I'm happy at, working with you guys. And one last one, I didn't have one of me and my parents, but that's me and my siblings up in Pennsylvania at the lake where I'm from. So you'll hear me talk about that sometimes. All right, that's a little bit about me, but let's talk about counseling and the counselors, what we do all day. All right, so you guys might be wondering, what do Mrs. Ken and Ms. Caducci do all day? What is their job here? How do they help us? So we have a few things listed um, that we do. We have lunch groups with kids. So sometimes this is for PALS rewards, or sometimes this might be for problem solving. So you might want to come to our office with some friends or some classmates that you're having a problem with, and you, we might want to have lunch and try and problem solve and find some solutions for you all. Um, the other thing that we do is we're really lucky. We get to work with all of your parents and all of the teachers and we work really closely with Mr. Tusi and Mrs. Backrecht, the new assistant principal. So some of you might be thinking, oh no, you're going to talk to my parents. And we don't want you to think of that as a bad thing. It is actually a good thing because we work together as a team. We are a team to make sure that you are happy here at school and that you are successful. If you guys don't feel happy here at school, if you don't feel like you're being as successful as you can be, then we really come together and we figure out what we can do to make things better for you. So please don't ever be worried if we're ever talking to your teachers or talking to your parents about you. It's a good thing. And we also meet with you guys, okay? Sometimes we might meet with you two at a time if you wanna work something out with a classmate or a friend, or if you just want to talk privately, we can meet one-on-one. -on -one. And again, Mrs. Kemp, she works with second grade and fourth grade, and I work with kindergarten and first and third and fifth. 
but we are here to support you all. So if ever there's a time when Mrs. Kemp isn't here, you can always come and see me, okay? We work very closely together. Um, we also teach lessons, so that's one of our favorite parts, is coming into the classroom and teaching lessons about kindness, about problem solving, about empathy. So we will be coming in and doing many lessons. And we also attend meetings. So again, that might be meetings with teachers, parents, administration. So sometimes if we're not in our office, that just usually means we're at a meeting. But you, we're going to talk up in a little bit about what to do if you come to our room and we're not there. All right. So this is a refresher for many of you, except our kindergartners. But our, um, when you want to come see the counselor, we often ask, is this a small rock problem? A medium rock problem or a large rock problem and last year we asked you to think about like a small rock problem you carry it around you can fit it in your pocket you can deal with it right medium rock you notice it a little bit more you think about it a little more it's a little more to carry and then those large ones are really slowing you down they're a heavy load um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between these types of problems something important to point out before we talk about the problems is that a small, medium, or large rock problem, that's the way you feel about the problem. So something that you think is a large rock problem, somebody else might think it's a medium or a small rock. You just have to gauge, do your best. It's not a huge um, deal whether, you know, what you mark off on our slip that we'll talk about in a little bit. But this is just to give you an idea of the types of problems that might be small, medium, or large rock problems, okay? So our small rock problems, those things that we can feel and see and think about but aren't weighing us down too much, some examples might be you lost a privilege at home. This happens, right? That, that is a consequence. And while we can't undo what consequence your parents have given you, we can talk about planning better for next time or action steps that you might take, like saying, you know what, Mom and Dad, I'm sorry and I learned my lesson. Um, things like that. So we're happy to chat with you about that. You and your siblings had an argument. It happens. Many of us have siblings and that is a special relationship, right? We love each other, but sometimes we also really know how to get under each other's skin. And so um, if you have an argument with your siblings, it's weighing on your mind, we can talk about it and again, plan for how we can make it better. You think your friend is upset with you. Notice it says THINK in capital letters, okay? So you might want to wait on it. You, you notice things are a little bit different, but maybe you give it some time to feel it out. Maybe your friend's having a bad day. Um, but it's just bothering you, so you can come take a break and we can talk about what m might have happened or what you might do to correct it. You forgot your homework and your teacher is upset. Much like your privilege, Again, that's a consequence, right? So we can talk about together responsibility, ways to plan better, make sure that you're prepared. Especially our upper grades and really everyone, we're learning in school how to take ownership of our actions. So um, we, can, we can help you plan for that. All right, so a medium rock problem. Again, these are just examples. I might pull one out and you might think, no way, that's large for me. And that's totally fine because we are all different. So this is an example here. You are arguing with your parents and it is distracting you from doing your best work. So this could be with your parents, with your uncle, with your grandparents, with even anyone in your family, okay? And you're having a disagreement, maybe you come to school and it's still on your mind. You still keep thinking about something that you said to your grandmother or you're still thinking about something that your mom said to you and you're, you're feeling very upset about it. Okay, and it's on your mind and you want to talk about it. Please come see us and we can um, listen and try and help the best that we can. Okay, you are frequently feeling worried about doing well in school. So feeling worried or anxious or nervous, feeling a little bit that way is normal, okay? We all have those nerves. Just like if you think back to last week, first day of school, everyone probably had a little bit of the ner ner nervous belly, right? That's normal, but if every day you're waking up and you're nervous or you're worried or you're sad, 
then we want to know so we can help you, okay? Because again, we want you to come to school feeling happy, feeling ready to start the day, and feeling safe. And if you're waking up like this, we need to know so we can help. Also, it might be you and your friend had an argument, but you are having trouble solving it on your own. Especially for the upper grades here, this is the uh, fourth grade class, you guys have learned some strategies, some skills on how to solve problems. And if you've used those, right, like debug, and it's not, or the I feel messages, and it's still not getting solved, well then come see us so we can help. Good. And last we're going to talk about large rock problems. And these are the ones that you say, hey, Mrs. Kemp, Mrs. Cattucci, I need you right away. Okay, this is really weighing on me. Some examples might be you feel unsafe, unsettled, or uncomfortable most of the time. Like Mrs. Cattucci was just saying, if you're waking up, we all feel that way sometimes. Well, safety, we'll put that aside for a second, but that unsettled or uncomfortable, maybe you're feeling, you know, a certain way about a kid in your class or um, something at home is making you feel this way. Most of the time, we need to know about it so we can... Um, make sure that we're taking action and getting you what you need um, because your safety is our biggest concern okay everybody has the right to come to school feeling safe um, your family is experiencing a large change those can look different okay large changes might be a separation of mom and dad it might be moving it might be a new baby brother or sister some of these things can be good and exciting, and sometimes they can be a little bit scary or, you know, cause you to feel uncertain about things. So any big change that you're experiencing, you can talk to us about it. You or someone you know is unsafe. So that's what I was talking about, and that can be touching you in a certain way or seeing somebody else get, you know, hurt in a certain way. If, if you or anybody you know is unsafe, you need to come talk to us about it. An example could be a friend telling you that, you know, they were hurt somehow. If you guys speak up. Like we said, your safety is our biggest concern when you come into this building. We want everyone to feel safe and happy when they enter the doors of Garrett Park. Okay? Everybody see the difference between small, medium, and large rock? Just a thumbs up if you do. Awesome. And like we said, you can gauge that. So finally, let's talk about how we see um, the counselor. This is the same as last year for all of our returning students. But in the classrooms, you'll find these talking slips. And at the top, they say, I need to see Mrs. Cattucci or Mrs. Kemp. And then you fill it out. You put your name. First and last is helpful. The date, that just gives us lets us keep track of how long you've been waiting and your teacher, okay? We know where to find you. It says this problem is a small, medium, or large rock. And little reminders here, see me soon, if it's a small rock. See me this week, if it's a medium rock. And a large rock, it says urgent, see me as soon as you can. And then it says I am having a problem with, and you circle one, school, friends or family and sometimes kids write little notes over here on the side and that's fine to give us a little idea of what's going on with you the last part is what have you already tried to solve this problem we are encouraging you as your counselors we give you skills we give you strategies we teach you these things with the help of many of your teachers and we want to see you practicing using those skills and strategies okay so Try using an iMessage. Try using debug. Okay. Try talking with um, a teacher about it or a parent about it. That just lets us know that you have taken a little bit of ownership and you said, I tried to solve this problem, but I need some help. Okay. Because like Mrs. Katucci and I have both said to everyone, we wish we had magic wands to wave it across Gare Park and make sure there's no problems. But we are only two people in a school of many. All right. So Mrs. Katucci has the slip. So here's the slip. So after you complete this, boys and girls, you will um, either put it in my mailbox. And for those of you that don't know where my room, it is right by the media center. So maybe when you do a tour of the school or on your way to media, your teachers can point out my room to you. 
And then if you are in second or fourth grade, like you guys, you will fill out your slip and you will bring it to Mrs. Kemp's office and her office is right across from the health room. And so kindergarten and first grade and third and fifth grade students can also see Mrs. Kemp if I'm absent for a day and there's a large rock problem. So it's important for, every, for everybody to know where our rooms are located. And we will see you as soon as we can, okay? Because we are here to make sure that you are happy and you have the best experience here at school. Thanks for watching. Thanks.